Well, hello everybody and welcome on back to the channel. Being Chris here or Chris here with another speed build for you all. This is part two of building in Sudad in a Murata. We are at the Calais del Ensueno lot we are. I was talking a lot about this before. This is probably one of the best lots I think in The Sims 4 Love Struck. And we are going to continue building. We are adding in rooms. We are adding in apartments. We're doing all that lovely stuff. So welcome on in everybody. Hopefully everybody is enjoying The Sims 4 Love Struck. Let me tell you, this build is a big build. This build has taken me a few days, but I'm enjoying it. And I hope that you all are enjoying it as well. It is very interesting how you can just get something in your head and you're like wow so these builds are inspired from some debug objects in the debug catalog um, if you don't know those cheats i will put those cheats down in the description down below so you know and if you just filter them to the packs that you like you can find these objects in debug and you can place them on your lot you can size them up, you can size them down, whatever, and just get a good look, study them them very well. And then you can spend hours building from these objects. So there you go. I do actually have a few other ones I have in mind, but that's going to be like maybe in another week or two. Because <laughs> this build, I think, is going to be a lot. It's this, this build is already a lot. So we're making the rooftops here. Um, I kind of wanted this to be an open area where your Sims can go and every apartment has actually most of the apartments have an entrance up to the upstairs uh, rooftop. Yes, talking about a roof. We got a new roof today and it was very loud, very loud. And uh, we didn't play in well, so we all got stuck inside. But you know what? There was The Sims, there was YouTube, and there was editing. So we did just fine. We did. Yeah. But I want to talk a little bit more about, like, this build and what you can do with it when it's finally uploaded up to the gallery. So you can use it as apartments. So if you want to play for rents, you can. You will have to go into uh, build mode and do all that, do all that editing to make every section, you know, how do you, how do you explain it? Like apartment, like, what is the name of that? I don't know it. Oh my gosh, Chris. I uh, like, you can make apartments in edit mode, right? Um, but you can also lock the doors and just like somehow some way make this into a motel so i know you're creative you could figure it out if i figure it out i will let you know um maybe this will be a let's play um maybe but yeah i think i also used i'm not gonna lie i think i may have used jungle adventure i lied i apologize i'm so sorry we used jungle adventure too but let me say, uh, Love Struck and For Rent, I could totally see a lot of people making some Let's Plays from these two packs. So I love how I all of a sudden got into making these built in to like the wall staircases. And um, to the side of the staircase will be a little porch and it's kind of private. So when your Sim is out there drinking coffee, their neighbors are not staring them in the face. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, but um, yeah, you will see towards the end that I do end up putting in some more stuff like windows and stuff. But this was just basically me just trying to get everything situated, like which apartment is which, uh, make sure that I have doors into the apartments, make sure that we're not going into somebody else's apartment. And uh, with this slot, I, I, I would say I wish it was a little bit bigger. I believe it is a 40 by something. I'm not really sure. But um, sometimes when you're like moving the camera, you will go up. So I was trying to go slow with that. Yeah, but we do have some balconies, which is really cool. And um, yeah, just trying to figure some stuff out. But I really like it. And I also like for rent how the uh, windows, there's so many options with the windows. I really feel like with uh, Love Struck that we really should have gotten maybe a little bit more um, 
like medium and tall windows, that would have been cool. Before rat, I mean, you got, look at all these windows right here. They're, these are all the windows. And then these are all the windows you get from Love Shuck. I love the open uh, pane concept. That's really cool. It'd be really cool if we were able to open it, like have the sim go over and open the window. That would be really cool. Yeah. So I think for the top part of these apartments, I would like to make them into um, like a laundry. So I could totally see us putting like a clothesline up there, but I haven't decided yet if I want to, but we might because I think um, we're going to incorporate some more packs the further we go with this build. We're going to add some more packs in. Yeah, but uh, this pack is, is definitely interesting. And um, we've been using a lot of half walls in this too instead of using the fences and over here we're kind of going over to the other side now in one of the debug um items that i saw from love Shuck, that black um rooftop over there they have cars on top so um that would be cool to put a car up there problem is um how is that car going to get up there we don't have ramps i can't go upstairs how would we get that car up on that rooftop? So I'm probably not going to um, do that. But wouldn't it be cool if we got ramps? You know what I mean? Like handicap ramps, some type of ramp. That would be cool. Or like I could, I could have made it like into like a hill maybe. That's another thing to think about. Yeah. So uh, also another thing I've noticed while building, um, and let me know in the comments down below if you feel the same way. I'm really not liking the railings and how the railings kind of go into the wall. I don't know when The Sims is going to fix that, but uh, I've just been using half walls as railings. So there you go. Yes. And this area that we're looking at right now, this is the courtyard and we have a fountain and we will add in some other stuff. I don't think I really, truly like really cluttered it up because... The thing is with clutter, I love clutter. I mean, I have a lot of clutter. I think we all have clutter. Clutter is great. Clutter really makes a, like, really fills in empty space in builds. We all know that, right? They, al they also fill in a lot of empty space in our homes as well. Yes. Uh, but I just want to make sure that our Sims, because this is such a big build, our sims are able to move around. So I'm trying to go slowly, you know, into the cluttering. So we haven't gotten there yet. Right now, we're just placing floors in. And I'm trying to, again, make sure that I'm working on the right apartment. So this is probably the second apartment in this section of the courtyard. And then um, we're adding in some doors and stuff like that. So yeah, I really think I... Uh, I think it's coming along. It's going to be interesting seeing how we go ahead and furnish this. You know, I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, eight apartments. I forget how many. I mean, it's been a while. I haven't really fully played through for rent, but you can do a, um, an apartment you can try to make it into a hotel so one um one building can be like you know designated just for your guest you can totally do that yeah and the other option you have could be for your tenants so you can go either way with this or if you're really that crazy and you want this huge family you can make a family of eight, right? Because that's how many can, I believe, am I wrong? Eight in, a f eight in a household. And you can have them all be like in their own little space. That's kind of cool. You know what I mean? So you can go either way, either way. So I like the fact that we have um, two. So we, I'm sorry, we have two bottom apartments. And then we have two top apartments on this side of the lot pretty cool and I did want to add in a little garden of some sort so I did add in a little patch you'll see very shortly I think how I wanted to add in some dirt just to add in um, like a little garden you know rooftop garden and all so um, I like that but the inside of these I think are going to be like you know extra bathrooms laundry room 
stuff like that. It can be whatever you want to. So you can um, download this slot when it's ready um, as furnished or unfurnished, whichever you would like to do. Yeah, but I, I really am loving this. And every once in a while, and I think a lot of you feel the same way I feel, you get inspired. You get inspired about a build. And Debug has inspired me and hopefully many of you. Uh, you can find all kinds of uh, things on Pinterest. You can look on the web and just, you know, put on some good music, listen to a podcast and just dive on in and give yourself time to explore with this you know it's very it's very fun so the top part i have um a brick for the uh half walls i wanted to give that like a little like i wanted to dif differentiate well <laughs> di differentiate differentiate i've never said that word in my life i've read it but i can never say it you know but anyway i wanted to have brick on the top that was hilarious and then the bottom i wanted to use these uh paints from love struck because they're so vibrant i love them i love them this will also go well with movie stuff pack so that is another pack that I might incorporate. So we might incorporate some other packs and I will let you all know what packs we are using. You can also tell what packs are used when you go to the gallery. It will show up right underneath the picture, let you know, but I'm gonna try not to use all the packs because there are a lot of packs out with The Sims 4, a lot. But look at how vibrant these colors are. The red and the teal color, I feel like they are just my thing and put in a little bit of pink with the red and orange with the purple and the yellow too, kind of just really pop it out. But we're going to continue on with the uh, top um, half walls and I believe we are doing brick. So we're putting in the brick, but we're using base game brick and we are um, like trying to like do them on each apartment, different apartments. So you can tell which apartment is which. So here we are. We are at the bottom level of the other side of the lot, okay? And I'm just gonna put in some rooms here. Um, I wanted to put a bathroom in, and then um, I wanted to put like in some tile for a kitchen. And I don't remember what um, tile this is from, but this uh, viney wallpaper is really cool. You can use it as an accent wall, which is awesome. And um, yeah, you could just go from there. So. You have a lot of like different ways to decorate this a lot. And I also use the flower wallpaper from Love Struck too. I think it's really pretty. I think it looks great as an accent wall too. You don't have to do the whole entire room. Here we are using the lights and I did go ahead and add in some debug items. I didn't wanna put in a fence. So um, I've been looking to see like what colors we could use and stuff like that and what objects we can use and I think I ended up using either a planner I think a planter a planter uh we don't get a whole lot of debug flowers I think one of the packs that I use a lot of it from like debug items like plant wise is from uh jungle adventure and base game. So I wanted to add in some palm trees just a little bit, but here are the planners that are coming up right here. And um, I just put in some, did I put in some? I did, I put some bamboo in. That's a cool idea because I didn't want to clutter it up a whole lot because I want to make sure that my Sims are able to walk around. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but if you use debug items, they don't take up a whole lot of I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like the game is less laggy. I could be totally wrong. That's my thinking. Let me know if you believe me. If you believe me or if Chris is full of crap bullets. One of the two. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of fill this area up. We do end up putting in some bikes from uh, Love Struck. I think Love Struck came with these. But um, I did use some railings, but you can tell that the railing kind of goes into the wall. And I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. Hopefully the Sims can fix that. I put in these very awesome awnings you can find. And I put a for sale or a for rent sign as well. 
And I used some other items, but this pink, oh, that bright pink just really pops out. I'm loving it. I also didn't want to spend a whole lot of time with, uh, like, landscaping. So I kind of wanted just to use some big items and just, you know, fill up the area. Uh, I did use these little uh, wall window boxes. Window boxes. Uh, but I didn't put any flowers in it, though. I'm still trying to figure out a way to really use them. I went around and used these bike um, stands or bike, I don't know what you call them, instead. But yeah, I really like this uh, this build here. Hopefully you all like it as well. I'm adding in some trim to kind of pop out the colors as well. So yeah, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting trying to furnish this. So let me know in the comments down below what packs you would like to see. I'll wait a few days and then um, I will start um, decorating. But let me know what packs. Uh, I think movie stuff pack is going to be great. And I also definitely want to add in laundry day. Because with laundry day, there is a possibility of a fire. <laughs> There's possibilities of fire. Yes, there is. Um, if you don't clean out your dryer vent, there could possibly be a fire. Um, that could cause a lot of chaos in The Sims. Now, I know a lot of people are liking Love Struck because of the drama, the heartbreak, the heartache, Blue Bear, you know, all kinds of other stuff. I'm, I'm more excited about the fact that, like, what can I do? What are my chances of having a fire? Chris just spends way too much time in The Sims, way too much time. But there you go. I'm going to go ahead and leave you all with a very good ending to this video. I'm going to leave you with a song or two, okay? And speed this video up a little bit. But please um, keep your eye out for part number three. There might also be a part number four. It depends on how far we get. But um. Yeah, keep your eye out. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome on in to the channel, my friends. I really hope you enjoy your time here. Let me know what you think of this build. Are you liking it? Do you think it's too much? I just want it to be a fun experience for you and your Sims. That's why I'm building these, because I want it to be different. Plus, I want to bring those debug items to life. And I want to expand on them a little bit, you know? So there you go. All right, friends. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Again, if you would like to help support a creator, you can use my supporter code, creator code, sorry. You can use my creator code, just being Chris on the EA app. It's you helping to support a creator at no extra cost. All you have to do is type in my promo code, just being Chris. And uh, I will greatly appreciate it. I appreciate you all being here and watching and enjoying this. Thank you once again, and I will see you all in the next video, my friends. Have a great day. All right, bye. Up all night, whenever slow went down. Fall in love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the ground. Gotta keep this feeling, keep on breathing. Keep this feeling